Hi guys, it's Sam here today and today I wanted to kind of create a soft pink like kind of Valentine's inspired look but keep it a little bit more natural looking because I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup today but we will see what happens. Sometimes I get carried away. Um, If you are new to my channel, hi I'm Sam. I'm a makeup enthusiast. Makeup is my passion, my therapy and if you feel the same way be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can come back and see more content with me and it's free. So let's get started. I want to film um, a video about Valentine's eyeshadow palettes, like shop your stash kind of thing. So we're not like out here buying all the stuff because Natasha Denona just came out with her new Valentine's palette and I did not pick it up. We're going to start with the primer, the Touch and Soul Glassy Balm. I love this stuff, especially because it's winter. It's so crazy dry. Um... Yeah, and I did not pick it up, A, because the blush looked crazy light, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that to myself. But also, the one that I got last time, I did purchase mm -hmm. the, um, I did purchase the dark one, even though I, I didn't film a review of the palette. Um, it, it was good, but I never reached for it. It's not my favorite Natasha Denona palette, and so it's just like... I don't see the point in buying another one. I kind of wish she just did a little five pan ditty, but it's always the same pinks. And I don't even know if she would have done a five pan thing if I would have bought that either. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like over some of the stuff. It's just so boring to me. <laughs> um, I'm going to wear my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I have the shade Tan Neutral 42. So, yeah, I just... I don't know. I was like, I have a ton of stuff. Let's just focus on what we have and pick up things that really inspire me. And lately, I haven't been that inspired. I'm going to try to use one pump for my whole face, which probably still seems like a lot of makeup. But I have like a lot of discoloration. I feel like in the summer, my skin gets a little bit more even now. But in the winter, you can kind of tell that like I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth. My cheeks are way lighter. You can see my dark circles are way more obvious um, than usual. So I have to like work more at evening out my skin. And I love this foundation because it does have like a very nice lightweight medium um, coverage. And the color is just so perfect. And it gives just the perfect amount of glow. And I have oily skin, so it's like glow without being greasy or too dewy. Though sometimes I do like that too. And the primer I use is a little more on the dewy side. But with it being winter, it's just my skin's dry and dehydrated anyway. So it's kind of nice. Yeah, this foundation is just like, it's spot on perfect because my forehead's so much darker. But it does like a really good job creating a gradient and I like to just stretch the foundation too with my brush this is a, a Sephora foundation brush that came in like a Christmas set from 2020 and I am in love with this brush like I used to use my Morphe Danessa Myricks like the filter one all the time but this one lately has been my go-to that's I've been getting some cute little acne marks with this last period. That was fun. You keep thinking as you get older, eventually you won't keep breaking out. And then it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Adult acne is straight up a thing. And I feel like low-key, shouldn't I be going through the change? Or I don't know, maybe I'm just wishful thinking. I'm like so over having my period I'm like please just I am welcome welcoming the next stage although I'll probably regret seeing that once it starts you know all right and then I just recently picked up the Dior Forever Concealer I have this in 3N I also got 4N because I kind of wasn't sure which shade to get 4N is like the perfect shade for my face which means it's going to be the perfect concealer shade for the summer 
That's pretty much how that works for me in general. So far, I really like this, though. It's hydrating and it's lightweight. It has decent coverage. Like, I put a very little amount because I want to I want to pretend this is my skin. <laughs> and concealer is one of those things that can really make makeup look like makeup, I feel like. When I really go for covering up my dark circles, it easily can cake up and get a little crazy and look like makeup. I feel like if you can get your under eyes to look as natural as possible, um, you can get away with a little bit more and just a touch more. Little, little, little bit. I'm trying to be careful to not over apply because that's the part of my face that I get the most insecure about is my under eyes. So I tend to really want to pile up concealer. That's like the part of my routine that just tends to determine how the rest of my face is going to look. Because if you get your under eyes to look heavy, then you kind of have to get everything else to match. And then I end up going full glam. And then we're going to use the Charlotte Tilbury under eye powder in the shade medium. And it just looks very natural, I feel like. You can still see some shadow under my eye, but it doesn't look exaggerated. I have not been sleeping very well and it's really been throwing everything off. I've been like going to bed, falling asleep at like midnight, one in the morning. Sometimes it's just me not being able to turn the TV off, but like sometimes it's me literally tossing and turning because I cannot get my, my butt in gear. I'm going to use my Huda Tantor in the shade light to like contour, but a little bit color correct because this is a little red so when I put it around like say my mouth it's gonna kind of correct some of that darkness so that's what I like about this and this is the brush I used to use all the time for foundation but I've been using it lately for the contour situation because it just has a really amazing shape to it All right, I'm gonna bronze with this Kiko bronzer and I'm gonna stay kind of in the matte side. I do like the bronzer in here, but I'm not obsessed with the sheen lately. When I've tried it like that, I'm like, it looks okay, but I'm gonna put this on my neck because I'm looking so yellow. It's like, I feel like a jaundiced baby. All right, that looks a little better. And then for blush, I want to use this LA Girl Cream Blush. This is in the shade Grace. I haven't used this. This was like one of the shame products that I have in my bin. I've swatched it a ton, but I haven't actually applied it to my face. And it's a really pretty kind of like pink so I was like, let's try this. Low-key, I feel like it looks like the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk situation. Flying slightly patchy. I don't know if it's the brush or just the product. I'm just going to keep pouncing and see if we can get it well blended. It's very pigmented. I don't use products like this very much. This is another thing like that Pillow Talk thing came out, the matte one. And I'm like, I didn't pick that up either because you know what? I barely use products like that. And I feel like, yeah, I'll enjoy it a couple times and then I'll forget it in the drawer because in reality on the day to day, it's just so much easier to use something that's powder. Um. Or like a cream that comes on a stick. I love that situation way more than something like this. Or, I don't know, the dots. I feel like if I didn't blend it, what if I don't blend it properly? Then I'm going to have these stupid dots on my face. Like, absolutely not. That is not the vibe for me. Oh, there goes the natural because I've gone way overboard with the blush. I told you. 
It might not. This is always what happens. The intention was there, right? The intention. Maybe it will dial down on its own. Why did I do that? It looks pretty though. All right. So yeah, I, I went overboard with the blush. So I'm going to try to dial it down a little by putting a little powder lightly over it and see. That will help. It's still a lot of blush, but it does look a little bit more natural now. All right, I'm going to put some of this lipstick. This is the YSL Lip Shine in 89. I think it's Blazer because my lips are, look at this. I've destroyed them. I cannot help myself. It's the story of my life when it comes to my lips. I've always been that person. That's why I'm, I'm like, most of the time, I don't wear lipstick. Or if I start out wearing lipstick, it I don't reapply. Because I just be biting on my lips and destroying them up and down. All right, I'm going to take this shade in this Dior Backstage Highlighting Palette and just use a little bit of that. We'll see. I don't know. I, I don't know what a little bit is anymore. I just keep going wild. So we'll see. I'm going to try. I think I, I executed that nicely. Right there, yep. Okay. I like using one that's more bronzy, a little bit closer to my skin tone, because I just feel like it looks nicer. I don't know what appeals to me a little bit more. Today, I decided to pull out my favorite brow products because, honestly, I've been using products that are not my favorites a lot lately in an effort to kind of use them down, but then that just makes me kind of grumpy and miserable. So this is the M Cosmetics. I forget it what it's called, but it's pretty much like a fiber brow situation and it just looks so natural. I use the shade Espresso. You can see I have like good shape to my brow, but there's a lot of little bald spots. So then I will go in with um the next lift and snatch to fill in those gap. But this does like add some, it's a little sun and sun into the brows. And I love the comb on here because you can't really get carried away. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury brow product that came out last year was similar to this, but this is. I've had this a long time and I have so many brow products that I already need to get rid of. I don't want to add another thing. I want to just use what I got. All right, we got brows on. I primed my lids. Let's go into the eyeshadow. All right, so the whole theme of my next video that I'm getting ready to film is to shop your stash for eyeshadow palettes for Valentine's Day that you already have. You do not need to go and buy another pink palette. I swear last year in 2022, we had so many pink mauve berry palettes that came out. There is no need to pick up another one this year. So I was going through my collection and I saw this. This is not from last year, but it's from years prior that I still have. This is the Glam Light Pie Palette and I haven't used this in ages. Look how cute this is with the little box packaging. I don't even know if they still sell this. But if you have it, pull it out. We're going to use this today. So this is what the palette itself looks like. So cute. And it has a little mirror on the top. And this is the color story. It's like pink, purple. There's a peach in there. There's even a blush. I should have used that. I should have used that. But anyway, we're going to go in with this. And we're just going to create something soft. Because I don't feel like going through dramatic. Although with the way my blush went. Who knows? I think I actually want to use the blush in this palette as an eyeshadow for this look. And I'm going to go in with that on the crease. And that's called Cherry Pie Blush. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush and I am going to go into Sweet Potato, which is this one right here, and bring that into the crease as well. They're very similar shades, actually. 
slightly more pigmented than the blush shade, but very similar. I'm going to go all the way around and just do, I think we'll do a high, like a halo look. It's one of my favorite kind of looks for my particular eye shape because my top part of my lid is kind of downturned. So sometimes it's hard for me to kind of create a look that goes up without it looking kind of weird. So um, I really love a halo eye. If you have downturn eyes, I think it's really flattering. And I'm going to go in with the blush shade on my lower lash line. All right, and then I want to go in with the shade here. It's called Nutty Pecan, and it's super, super pretty. It's pink, but like it has like a peachiness to it that's pretty, and some gold sparkle. And we're just going to go in the center of the lid and kind of lightly diffuse it towards the edges. And we're going to take a small pencil brush. Let's find one. I need to clean my brushes so bad. That's going to happen tomorrow, I think. Let's go in with peach, which is the shade here. The The shades in here, like, kind of say peach, but they're very... I'm going to just show you with my finger. It is very, like, pink in tone. So don't let the name confuse you. And then because my eyes kind of have like a slight monolid kind of fold to them, I do like to bring my inner corner up a little to just kind of blend it out to make my overall eye shape look a little bit larger. And then lastly, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. I find that this like really does provide a nice medium between length, volume, and looking natural. It doesn't go too crazy. It's mostly lengthening, but it does add a little bit of volume, like just enough if you have tiny little lashes that it keeps it looking natural, but it also makes them stand out. All right, so this is the final look. I think I do need to like touch up my hair a little bit, but... Overall, this is my makeup look, and I'm quite happy with it. I think it's going to look really nice, and I'm going to film that other video for you guys. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine with me, too. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye!